FIFA Ultimate Team transfer market has just completely crashed. This is what happens every single year when Team of the Season is just around the corner. People are selling all of their expensive players so that when Team of the Season does arrive, they will have coins within the bank just so they can buy the players that they want. This for us as traders is good news. It does mean that we can invest in some of these players, hold them and sell them on later when Team of the Season is released and they are required for certain SBCs. But for those of us that are trying to trade right this second where we're able to buy and sell players for profit straight away, this has become a lot more difficult. There are situations where you'll bid on a specific player find it to be a great deal much lower than the lowest buy now on the market list that player come back an hour later and realize that player hasn't sold you check the market and the player has actually plummeted in price so now if you want to sell them quickly you're actually going to be selling them for a loss this has happened to a lot of players over the last week and as we get closer and closer to team of the season it's more and more likely to happen especially when team of the season is released so in times like this, when it is harder to trade with gold and special cards, we need to look at other ways. In this video, we are going to be looking at trading with silver players. Before I do get into the video though, if you do enjoy the content I'm delivering here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. If you are one of the first to watch it, you'll also be one of the first to put it in action. But hopefully, you'll be able to make a decent amount of profit. But getting back into the video, I've been looking for a new trading method for quite some time. Ever since I showed the position change method in the 0 to 500k video, it's become a lot harder. It still works, but I'm not able to get as many deals as what I once was. So I've been looking for a method that requires a similar amount of coins being around 20k, that gives you a similar amount of profit, but you are able to get more deals per hour and it's more scalable for a lot more players to use at once. This is the method that I've been using for the past couple of weeks. It's provided me with a lot of great deals. And if you're struggling to get deals with this method, there are ways in which you can slightly change it so that you can find other types of players. And hopefully you'll be able to make profit in that area. So I've been using this method on and off for the past couple of weeks as a replacement for the position change method. But surprisingly, I've noticed that these player prices have been somewhat stable during the time in which we're having a market crash. You don't have to worry about bidding on players, listing them by undercutting the cheapest on the market. And a few minutes later, when you check again, your players have also been undercut. They should relatively keep their value over time. So for this trader method, it does help if you have a second account plus a tablet, laptop or PC nearby. That way on your console, you can look for silver players on a transfer market. And when a player catches your eye on your second account, you can quickly check the price. There's been a lot of occasions where I've only had 10 seconds to check the price for the player. It's been so much quicker to do it on a second account on PC rather than comparing the price on console or individually searching for the minimum buy now. If you haven't got this, don't worry, it's not essential. It just makes life a bit easier. With this method, you simply want to search for rare silver players and select Ligue 1, Serie A, La Liga or Bundesliga. You can look for other silver players in different leagues, but I've noticed it takes a lot longer for these players to sell. I've also noticed when you search for silver players in the Premier League, they have way too much attention. That you will be waiting to put a bid in as it comes down to the last 30 seconds and it will instantly be outbidded. If you do get any silver players in the Premier League, you're probably only making a couple hundred coins. So I do recommend that you search for rare silver players and then search for a specific league, being Ligue 1, Serie A, Bundesliga or La Liga. As for everything else, you can just keep it clear. We don't need any bid amounts, any buy now amounts, no nationalities, nothing. You just want to look at silver players and the individual league. From here, you are just going to go through player search. Go through each and every player that's there and look for the ones that have a current bid on them. If it does have a bid, it means that other people are interested in that player because it has a much higher buy now. And this is what we're interested in. When you find a player like that, which will not take too long, you should be able to find it in the first page, maybe even the second page. You're going to quickly add that player to your watch list and on your second account, you are going to look for that player's price. If you don't have your second account, then you're going to have to do it all on console, which will take you a little bit more time, but you should still be able to do it in the time that is left on that player for you to put a bid in. You'll find a lot of silver players that are going less than a thousand coins. With these types of players, be happy just to make a couple hundred coins profit here and there. But the ones that you're really looking out for is the ones that go for above a thousand coins. There are situations where you can get these players for extremely cheap and sell them on for free or even four times the amount of coins that you're able to buy them for. 
and this is where you're going to be making a lot of your profit but still take the players that are only giving you a couple hundred coins here or there because it does all add up this is all you need to do the good thing with this is that you can get a lot of deals very very quickly i did say that you should be able to find your first deal on the first page or two but there's been a lot of situations where i was able to find five or six deals on the first page and as these are silver players there's very very low competition and putting these bids in and winning these players just a couple seconds later ready for them to be relisted on the transfer market as said earlier after releasing the position change method in the 0 to 500k video the position change method became a lot harder to use it still works but it's just a lot harder because more people are looking at it this silver method is hopefully going to replace that position change method for me i've still been able to go and buy players and sell them for three or four times the amount of coins that i put in which was the big benefit of the position change method. A good example of this is I managed to get a silver player called Wurtz from the Bundesliga. I bid it on him for 550 coins and sold him for 2,300 coins, which is a very good amount of profit to be had here. The other benefit is that I'm able to get a lot more deals with this silver trader method compared to the position change method. I was able to get around one every couple of minutes with the position change, which would give me a couple thousand coins here and there. But with this method, in 30 minutes of trading where I've been recording the footage that you're seeing on screen right now, I managed to get 29 deals, all given various amounts of coins back, some being just a couple hundred coins, whereas others are giving me a thousand coins plus. This does mean that if you are starting out with trading, maybe you are trying to push for your first 100k or you are following the video of 0 to 500k, once you get to that 20k mark, instead of using a position change, I recommend actually going for the silver trader method instead. And if you do end up using this trader method, but it does become extremely popular as more people start going towards it and move away from the position change method, well, there are a couple things that you can do to make sure that you're always getting deals. The first thing is that you can change your leagues. As said, I recommend using Ligue 1, Serie A, Bundesliga or La Liga. Start out by checking for deals under Ligue 1. If you are extremely unlucky and you don't get any items worth bidding on or every time that you do bid on a player it is instantly outbidded then you can simply move to one of the other leagues. If you do change league and it still is very hard for you to get any deals then your second option is to change the quality of silver players. I've been looking for rare silver players but this also works with common silver cards. They might not be as expensive so you're not going to be making as much profit on every card but if you are making profit then that's all we really need. Just remember that any profit is good profit. If after both of these changes you're still not getting any deals then I recommend watching a previous video where we do talk about winning more deals in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. I go through everything that I do when I'm trying to find good players to bid on. If you want to see that there will be a link in the description down below as well as there'll be a card on screen right now which you can click and it'll take you directly to that video. This should help you win more cards within Ultimate Team. But anyway guys this is the trader method. It is a really simple search but because the market is just dropping in price for gold and special cards this is a safe way for you to continuously make coins throughout team of the season if you are just starting out with trading maybe you are that player that's trying to go from 0 to 100k or you are following the video of 0 to 500k definitely use this method from the point in which you reach 20k from there you should be able to hit your first 100k relatively quickly as well as push on to then go into other methods which will hopefully take you to 500k as well I've actually been using this method myself to get coins together very very quickly to pay for SBCs. As Team of the Season is just around the corner, I want to be getting as many packs as possible just to save them in my club so that hopefully when I do open them when Team of the Season is released, I can get Team of the Season players. I have already gone through a lot of different SBCs and I have cleared my club. It does mean whenever EA does release something new, I now have to go and buy those players does result in me actually needing coins up front this trader method has been great for me to buy these players sell them on quickly get those coins buy those players for sbcs and submit the sbc for the pack it's a bit all over the place but this is what i'm doing as of right now but anyway guys this is the method thank you very much for watching i hope you're able to use this method to make loads of coins in fifa ultimate team just before team of the season thank you very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now, I'm going to see ya.